Let's go, baby. Let's go. Connected fishing, baby. Fish on. He's to the side over there. Oh my God. Oh, she connected down, connected down. Connected fell. It's time to get the bait in the water. I am throwing a 10 ounce sinker out here. Everybody, welcome back to my channel today y'all already know I am outside ready to catch you guys a uh, sturgeon as a matter of fact I am going after these oversized sturgeons I'm I am trying to do a catch and release to an oversized sturgeon and with that being said I got the perfect gear for it and um, I wanted to mention I got a sponsorship with angler lines and let me flip my camera around so i can show you guys the type of braided line that i will be using and here it is guys i even brought the whole box so um you can get these awesome super strong braided lines by angler lines and i will leave the link in the description below this is the least inexpensive strongest braided line smoothest braided line that i've been testing out and i like it a row of this will not break your bank guys 328 yards and it comes in every color um, you can possibly get in a braided line so today i have on the multi-color line it is 80 pounds and this is my setup folks i'm running the old school ugly stick it is a 10 foot ugly stick out here you're gonna need some pretty heavy duty and it is paired up with the Daiwa bg90 is the older reel but out here you're gonna need something that holds a lot of spool about 300 yards so you're gonna want a big reel and a, a nice long tough rod and this is the ratings on my fishing rod here and i also will be showing you guys how to rig your bait up and how to cast and all that other stuff and if you already know like i said just follow me on down there and hopefully i'll put on a sturgeon for you guys and my buddy just showed up here so yeah guys if you guys are new to my channel i am tc with connected fishing i am a local fisherman here in sacramento i've been fishing here since i was a kid and i can tell you guys i have all the tricks and uh, trades on how to catch every species that runs through this river here so today i will show you guys how to catch these giant sturgeons so if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and if you already did i appreciate you guys so much for subscribing and supporting all right y'all like i said i appreciate all my subscribers and check this out What's bro good? connected fishing man one of my subscribers here he's out here <laughs> walking his dog yeah. he is also a local fisherman eddie right yep eddie i appreciate you and big ups to eddie for spotting me appreciate <laughs> it man yeah no problem yeah man i love all you guys yeah. man as a lot of you guys know i've been grinding on youtube for four or five years now and thanks to all you guys um my channel is slowly but surely growing folks we are um all going through this journey together and um i really appreciate you guys man so i'm gonna do the best i can to put on a sturgeon for you guys and i will show you guys what i am gonna do and what it takes to catch these sturgeons it's time to put on a show for y'all folks. Let's go. The Sacramento River Bank here. When you guys come out here, you're gonna need your own fishing rod stand, rod holders here. All right, so let's get started, folks. So back again to the setup. 
10 foot ugly stick paired with the BG90 80 pound braid out here. You're gonna need to use a barbless hook if you are targeting these giant sturgeons out here on the Sacramento River. And what I have here is a size seven zero seven odd uh, big river gamagatsu hook. And the leader line I have here is a hundred pounds P line. So I'm using 100 pound leader line monofilament to a heavy duty slider to a bead and then to the swivel and you guys already know how it goes the fish finder rig let me show you guys what i will be using and i dug up some earthworms at home like i always do but if they're still alive i got them this morning so there are there they are i will be putting about five of those on one of these guys and i'll wrap it up on the hook and send it on out there so let's get to it folks all right guys so it's time to get the bait in the water i am throwing a 10 ounce sinker out here I'm not gonna cast too far. The way I cast this big boy is, I'm gonna hook the sharp end on the hook right on the sinker right there, just like that. And I'm gonna come down here. Leave about two, three feet, just like that. And we're gonna wanna get it out about 25, let, let's do 20 yards, 20 yards out. And since on Sacramento River, the water only flows downwards, goes down south, um, I'm gonna cast it to the right. That way it'll come and land in the middle. All right, folks, so I got my line in the water and boy, that line looks really good. Angler lines, folks, check it out. Got some angler lines here, the multi-color 80 pound braid and it is looking, looking mighty fine, guys. So if you guys are interested and you guys wanna purchase some new braided line that won't break your wallet, check out angler lines. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below in the comment section and you guys can just click on that and check it out so yeah hopefully i catch a sturgeon on the rod for you guys and hopefully test out the angler lines and um yeah all, it's all about baiting and waiting guys sturgeon fishing is not easy bring your chair bring a lantern because i think these sturgeons are more active at night and another thing I would like to show you guys is the soda can trick, folks. Yep, the soda can trick. Let me turn my camera around. So here it is, folks, out here. A lot of people do not put bells. As you guys know, when you get a sturgeon bite, the bell don't normally go off. So with this soda can, when a sturgeon bites, it'll make a little clunk noise just like this. And then your soda can falls down. And that's how you know you got a sturgeon bite on and you're gonna wanna swing for a home run. So yeah, guys, that's the low budget soda can trick. And it actually has been working for many, many years, folks. And uh, I can tell you guys, I've tried putting a cowbell and all that on there and it does not go off when the sturgeon bite. And by the time it does, it's too late, folks. So. I recommend you guys using the soda can trick here. Just like this. The soda can trick, guys. Few inches later. 
So yeah, folks, my buddy already think he has a bite. And when it comes to a sturgeon bite, you're gonna want to sit right next to your rod. Keep your eye on that tip because it barely moves, folks. And it's a subtle bite. So um, just like my buddy there, let's, let's go over there and mess with him. Ah, oh, he heard us. Did you get a bite, bro? Something. Uh, you heard that, guys. Um, probably a current, probably a, a nibble or some seaweeds. But that's how a sturgeon bite resembles. Sometimes you'll think it's the current lifting your sinker, but it's not. Swing for it. Home run. What do you have to lose? So um, if you're new to sturgeon fishing and you see any movement, not right after you cast it, but after 10 minutes go by or even five minutes. And when you start to see a subtle nod on your rod, don't even think and just swing for it because it could be a sturgeon, folks. So, yep, an hour has gone by now and I need to reel up my rod. 12 seconds later. And I am going to go ahead and rebate and get this back on out of there. All right, guys, so round two, second hour of the evening, and it is about to get dark. I'm going to break out my lantern, play a little bit of radio, get my chair, and wait for this bike to come around. And hopefully, we will catch something. And if not, oh well, I got out of my house, I got outside, and I'm fishing, folks. And I recommend that... You do the same thing. You just got to get out there, guys. And I wish you all luck. Yeah, we're going to probably stick around for another hour or two. Oh, is that a bite? See that? Is that a bite? So, all right, folks. I got my big old bright light out behind me. <laughs> I am serious tonight. I am out here trying to bring you guys some awesome fishing content. I'm not even playing man. I'm gonna catch me a sturgeon tonight and Release it for y'all. So I am after a monster folks. I am not playing around tonight guys I am trying to get y'all to get on my team here and Like I said get out of your house get off your sofa come on out and catch yourself a dinosaur guys All right guys, it's gotten pretty uh, chilly out here and I'm right next to the fire but my rod is uh, right over there as you guys can see right where the light is and uh, I'm chilling right next to the fire so if I hear my soda can go off I'll just uh, head on down there and swing for a homer guys so hopefully this video will hype you guys up and bring you guys out to enjoy the outdoors and to enjoy what you love doing so wish me luck i got another hour left uh thankfully i brought my light and some music so i'm gonna be chilling on now and i'll get back to you guys if i hook up all right y'all so the time is now 7 45 we've been out here for two and a half hours and um kind of feels a little bit discouraged you know and that's what comes with it when you're sturgeon fishing so um oh i think i got a bite i think i got a bite <laughs> sideways sideways make sure the number's sideways Bring him, bring him in. Fish on, baby, fish on. Woo. Strong. Take your time, take your time. Woo. Take Go your time. Line, Woo. Woo. Come this way, bird. 
Right right here. Oh my God. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Woo! Woo, buddy! Woo! Woo! Oh. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Connected fishing, baby! Fish on! Sturgeon, first sturgeon, 2023! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. He's to the side over there. Oh my God. Oh, oh shit, connect it down, connect it down. Connect it fell down. Oh shit, connect it fishing. Come on, take your time, TC. Bro, did you come fight it? Yeah, well, uh, here, I gotta shop the phones. Don't fight it, just, just let, don't, just let it do its thing. It's already hooked good already. I'm seven, I'm six foot. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Got me a monster here today. Woo! See, how you, you, you hella weak, bro. How you gonna push that in, man? Somebody come help you. The fish yeah. weigh more than TC. Catch and release. Catch and release. Oh, all right, Mama. So we'll see you later. Oh, she mad. She don't want you to be. She don't want to go back. Oh, hella strong still. Go, baby. Go, baby. It's going to be like five minutes till she re uh, she's in the water. There you go. Woo, so yeah, folks, that was a battle. As you guys can see there, I couldn't even pull it in myself. I handed it over to my buddy, and um, I apologize for not having the camera running like I would um, want to, but um, at least I got the camera uh, rolling in time and handed it to my buddy so we could get that footage for you guys. And boy, I can tell you guys, Man, that was a battle for me, and um, I had to give it up to my buddy to bring it in, and whoo, man, I am so stoked, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, and tight lines, and peace out.